Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Karen. How are you? I am fine. <laughs> how, how are you? I'm pretty good. A little busy today, but very nice. Okay. Uh, teacher, when is the last class? On Tuesday. The other week? Just Tuesday. three more classes. We have three more classes. Three we more? Three more. Tomorrow, Monday, okay. Tuesday. Ah, okay, Martes. And when do you start the other course? Do you know? Normally, two weeks after. Mm -hmm. But uh, to, uh, I I don't receive uh, email to uh, yet. Yes, me too. I didn't receive a response yesterday. I put in the group, but nobody answered. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Teacher, esta semana yo voy a estar mal. No puedo estar en clases, teacher. Hoy sí estoy súper, súper, súper mal. Ayer llovió, se fue la luz. Hasta hoy a las dos de la tarde vino la luz de nuevo. Ok. Es difícil, then. Sí, teacher. But it's okay. We have the important is that you are working in the platform and you are doing the activities. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. Ayer you... era de una descripción, verdad, en inglés. No, yesterday was a biography. Yesterday was your biography. Ah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for your biography? Ah, uh, no, teacher. La dejé en el trabajo, es que la estaba haciendo porque estaba escuchando lo que estaban haciendo, entonces, pero en el trabajo estaba haciendo, pero como de ahí se fue la luz, ahí dejé todo. It's okay. If the idea was that it's not supposed to be memorized, only you describe about you, it's no problem. But we have other people today, don't worry, let's begin with those. Okay. okay. Uh, my biography, then. Yes, if you want to begin, you can begin your biography. Okay. Uh, I am Ana Yancy Rivas. Uh, I forty five. I for I forty a old year. Uh, I I have three doors. I am Mary. Uh, I work in, in the Tunco Beach. I have a store, the clothes, the clothes, the beach, and a scrap. Uh, I like. Uh, I like uh, fried fish. I like play softball and basketball and swimming on the sea. Um, finish, teacher. <laughs> No, no, finish, continue. It's two minutes. It's two minutes. Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, mm, I like coffee. Uh, um, three MPM. Uh, me gustaría, how do you say? I would like. I would like um, going Canada. 
é, my okay that's it very good okay sister. Ooh, you finished the two minutes you see all right good job okay thank you very much yancy in the chat you can see the areas where you can improve okay no old years remember it's not i am old years i am 35 old years. i am 40 years old old years no years old oh, okay okay teacher mm -hmm. i yes. sell oh correct i sell oh. clothes beach no 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 i sell clothes beach i sell beach clothes beach clothes the opposite ready okay, thank mm -hmm. you good the pronunciation look in the chat look in the chat the pronunciation is ocean, ocean. i swim in the ocean okay? okay and then you say you drink the coffee at 3 mpm no you drink coffee at 3 pm 3 pm 3 pm, mm -hmm. 3 PM. Okay. And the last mistake was, I would like going to Canada. I would like to go. Remember always, I would like to go to Canada. Hi. Okay, good. Hi. All right. Thank you, Yancy. Thank you, Yancy. We can go ahead and continue. Um, I don't remember who was missing from yesterday. Um, I think it was... I don't remember. I think it's the people that are not here. Mm hmm. Hey, teacher. I I missing yesterday because uh, I cannot connect it to the class. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me see. All right. You ready? Yeah. I. I... I don't know. I, yeah, two minutes. Uh, I can't prepare my my biography, right? But yeah, I'm gonna talk uh, a little bit about me. Uh, well, my complete name is Cesar Alnay Martinez, and I I was born uh, in Chalchuapa City. Uh, I I am uh, 22 years old, and in the school, I I studied in the La Mielera School, and in the high school, I I study in the Instituto Nacional Jorge Liceo Azucena Ortega in Chalchopa City, right? So uh, when when I was a child, um, one hobby for me was the the science and I should I should make um, bonsai right so and when I was in in high school and um, I loved the the science and for that I decided to study a career in science. For that, I'm studying uh, geophysics right now. So I don't know, that's all. Mm -mm. Two minutes, no, that's all, continue. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, I, I remember say, when my, my, about my family, I don't know, and my family, my parents are um, Indira in Marvin and when I I am the the first son uh, for there, so I, I don't know. Um, when I was in 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 the high school in the high school, uh, okay, I okay, I okay. love it. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good job, good job. Hey, says are good. I know it's difficult. Two minutes. Woof. Is sometimes it's a little difficult. Very nice. Only one mistake okay. in your speaking for your grammar. So sir, it says, uh, you say I should make bonsai. I think oh, it, okay. yeah. it, it is not correct. I should make bonsai is 
maybe I had to make bonsai or I like to make bonsai, but no should make bonsai. Should is for opinions or recommendations. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, okay. And who is missing? Is it Stephanie? We, we need Alejandra. Who, who was the next person that we had to have? Harrison, you passed yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, okay, I do. Well, let's go ahead and continue then. Uh, we figure it out later. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our unit five, and then we find more people when they come. Okay, so unit five, if we remember, okay, it's about future with going to and will, okay? The future we review many times is the, the going to is the plan action and the will is not plan action in the moment, right? Going to planned action will not plan action, okay? So how do we make it? Ah, if you have program or agenda, going to. No program, no agenda, will. In this moment, we are going to do a little bit of listening. Here, we're going to listen and answer these questions. Harrison, can you read question number one? Yancy, question number two. Karen, question number three. Cesar, question number four. Um, and Aida, question number five. Harrison, go ahead, read the question and the options. Okay, teacher. Um, where are the girls going to stay? At a hotel? At a relative's beach house? At a job? Job? No, job hostel? Youth. Ah, youth. Youth hostel. hostel. Guess youth. Good. is for people that are young. Oh. Normally the people less than 25 or less than 30. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, number two. Uh, meet the meet teacher. Oh. No, no, the number two is Yancy. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe Yancy has a little problem with the internet because of the rain. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Diego, can you please read number two? Okay, I read, but I check my screen because in my cell phone is, is small. Oh, so, okay, okay. okay. Julia is the second speaker. What plans do she have for the weekend? She is going to go to the beach with her cousin. She is going to camping. She is going to boating. I think boating is a pronoun. Boating. She's going to boating. Boat. Uh huh. Boating. Boating. Okay, thank you very much. All right, number three. Yes, teacher. Uh, number three, what might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Read the options. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, be home all day. Go shopping. Go fishing. Thank you. All right. Number four. Okay, I'm booked for this weekend. And the I and the option I, I will go camping. I'm going to camping and I meet I meet go camping. Okay. I might go camping. Okay, I might go camping. Thank you. And the last one, number five. Okay. What should you say if you're unsure? I'm going to leave around the end of June. 
maybe I will leave around the end of June. And I will leave around the end of June. Okay, good. So we have several different things. Let's listen and make sure that it's clear for everybody. That way everybody can complete unit five. So listen and answer. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay, let's see. What was number one? Where are the girls going to stay? Uh, the second one. The second one. one. Okay. Second one. Good. And what plans does she have for the weekend, the second speaker? Um, the first. The first, first. To go to the beach. Okay, to go to the beach. All right. Three, what might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Fishing. Sorry. Number four, um, I am booked for this weekend. Ah, I am going to go camping. I'm going to go camping. And the last one, what should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I will live around the end of June. Okay. All right. Excellent. Those are all correct answers. You see, the number one, two, and three is from the listening. But Number four and five is the grammar. Remember when is planned action, then is going to. Will is not planned, might is not planned. Here, if you are unsure, unsure is will, right? Maybe, okay, is the maybe. That's what you can say. Any questions? All right, let's take a look at our exam then. So in June, this is the final exam. We have many parts that we're going to do. The listening, the listening, the same that we just practiced. You're going to read and then you're going to listen and answer. First read, then listen and answer the questions. In part two, it's only vocabulary. Four questions, you read the sentence and select which is the best word to complete, okay? Letter C is enough and not enough. Remember, enough is sufficient. Not enough is not sufficient. You need more. So when you say enough is no more and not enough is yes, I need more. Letter D, many and much. Which one do we use with countable? Do we use many or much with countable nouns? Many is for countable nouns. Correct, Cesar. Many is for countable nouns. Much is for non-countable. Much is for non-countable. Many, yes, countable. So remember, in English, the difference, if has singular and plural, is countable. If only one form to write, uncountable. Okay. Then we have in letter E, expression wishes. The wishes are the things that you want. Ah, I want a new job. I want to travel. I want, these are with I wish. I wish I had a new job. I wish El Salvador were safer. I wish I lived in Canada. These are expressing wishes. Then we have simple past and present perfect. Who remembers how to make the present perfect? Uh, present perfect is for experience. Excellent, Miguel. Present perfect is for experience. Great. And how do we use the grammar? What is the grammar for the present perfect? Pronoun 
uh, I'll have uh, the verb in past, but it's the verb, uh, remember, participio. Correct. It's and have, the complement. Correct. Have in the verb in past participle. That's the important verb in past participle. Okay. That is for the experience. Remember, the simple past is different. The simple past is the action in the past, but we know the time. So, for example, yesterday, last week, last year, this is the simple past, not the present perfect. The present perfect is not correct. Uh, have and then have eaten pupusas yesterday. No, this is the simple past. Okay, remember, simple past with time, completed action. Present perfect, no time, experience. And then we have the future will and going to that we practice today that we remember a little bit. And then the last part is reading comprehension. Okay. Any questions on the exam? No teacher, it's clear. It's clear? Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Uh, I know some people already completed the exam. Who did not complete the exam? Me, teacher. Okay, Karen. Anybody else? I don't complete. One moment. Let me make. We're going to make a few rooms. Okay, hang on. Okay, so and let's have Karen, Karen Flores, right? Yes. Okay, Karen, you didn't complete. Who else? I didn't complete. Who, who's I? Diego. Diego, Diego Ferrer, right? Excellent. Yes. Cool. Anybody else? Alguien más que no lo ha completado, que no ha completado el examen? El examen de la sección 5 o el examen de la sección 3. Okay. El examen de la sección 5. Ok, no, no lo he completado todavía. Ok, no problem. Miguel, right? Yeah. Ok, Miguel. Anybody else? No. The rest completed. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I complete. Ok, perfect, perfect. All right, let me explain a little bit. Ok, hoy vamos a hacer un poquito... Va a ser un poco diferente y en esta parte les voy a explicar ahorita porque les va a tocar a ustedes regresar manualmente al grupo. Ok, entonces vamos a darle Diego, Karen y Miguel en un grupo. Diego, Karen y Miguel, vamos a crear grupo. Ustedes van a estar en un grupo especial solo para ustedes para que puedan avanzar con la plataforma, el examen y ya terminarlo. Queremos que ya lo tengan terminado. Hoy si es posible, si no, a más tardar mañana, para que así el fin de semana están tranquilos y todos ya tienen sus certificados. ¿Ok? Lo demás, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer otros grupos que en donde no van a estar la gente que están haciendo examen, otro grupo para ustedes y van a estar repasando. ¿Ok? Aquí es donde viene la parte. Ahí aparece un reloj. Yo en el chat, le voy a, en el grupo de WhatsApp, en el chat de WhatsApp, Le voy a mandar un mensaje, regresar. Los que están repasando van a regresar aquí a este salón. No es como normal que yo los mando manualmente y los saco. No los puedo hacer hoy. ¿Por qué? Porque si hago eso, les cierro el grupo a Diego, Karen y Miguel en medio del examen que, que están haciendo ellos. Entonces, por eso ustedes tienen que salir manualmente y hacemos la siguiente actividad. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Diego, Karen, Miguel, you are going to work together to create the the activities for practicing the exam. And for the others, we are going to review the house, your house. So, in your house, we are going to describe many and much. So, for example, oh, in my house, I don't have many TVs. Okay, but I have a uh, much, uh, much cereal. 
okay? Or I have much juice because my children like to drink a lot of juice, but I don't have many chairs. I only have four chairs. In my bedroom, I have, we're going to try to describe. Si no le sale el many y el much, no se preocupen. Lo importante que le salga es descripciones. Descriptions about your house. No se preocupen si no le sale many y much, but we want to try the other ones. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, let me put here the groups and then we start. One second. One moment. Okay, let's go. Remember, I les voy a mandar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Cuando regresen, it's going to be in, in eight minutes. In eight minutes, we're going to return. Pero lo, lo, eh, Diego, Karen, Miguel, ustedes no regresen. Ustedes continúen terminando el examen.
Hey, Stephanie. Sí, teacher. Any questions? Everything is okay? Uh, no question. Okay. Give me an example with many. Okay. How many how many sofas do you have? Correct. That's good. All right. Good. Annalisa, give me an example with much. Much uh, flowers? No, flowers is countable. Ah, okay. Uh, use? Give me, give me the sentence. Go ahead, Annalisa. Like Stephanie, a question or a sentence. Mm -hmm. I don't have too much yogurt in my refrigerator. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Very nice. I, I don't have many chairs in my kitchen. Okay. Good, that's with good with many. Try with much, try with much, Anna. Ah, okay. Um, I, I, um, I don't have uh, much, como lo soy, <laughs> y me confundí. <laughs> okay, no problem, Annalisa, no problem, no problem. Jose, can you help Anna? How do we use much? Give an example with much. It's for Jose Isaias. Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yes. Can you please give an example with much? Much. Um, how much is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> for your house, describe, remember, in your house, in your house. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see. I don't have much uh, space to my three car. Ah, good. I don't have much space. Good. Uncountable. Very nice. Good. So now we remember many countable, many plural, much singular, much not countable. Okay. okay. Good. Now we're going to continue with the next topic of review. In the next topic of review, after as much, after many and much is wishes. Now we're going to express your wishes, things that you want to change. For example, ah, I wish I could swim, maybe, or I wish I could surf because I like to do the sports. I like to see them, but I can't. Or maybe your house. I, my house is dirty. Is I don't clean. I wish my house were clean. Okay. Remember, when we use wish, okay, we're going to use the past tense, not the present. We use the past tense, not the action, not the idea is in the past. The idea is in the present. Only the verb is in the past. It's okay, I wish. Yes, okay, let's make the groups again and don't worry. I will tell you the message so that we can come out. Chair, I have a question. Yes. ¿Cómo hago para regresar sin salirme de la sala? Okay, allí hay en el botón hay salir, pero hay, por ejemplo, hay en el, un botón rojo que dice eh, salir de reunión o salir de sala, solo ese es el clic en salir de sala. Pero me sacó de la reunión. Me en, too. Ajá, tuve en el Pero botoncito igual. azul. Ajá. Pero igual. solo le dio dos opciones. No, solamente una. Salir ah. de sala y me, y me sacó completamente. Solo no sacó, Lid, porque yo lo le di Lid y me sacó de la, 
de clases también, o sea, de todo. Ok. Tuve que volver a ingresar. Déjame ver. Ana Lisette, ¿cómo hiciste? ¿Qué fuiste, regresaste? ¿Y Stephanie? Sí, igual salí y ahorita tengo una pantalla que dice que el anfitrión ha iniciado sesión de grupos pequeños y tengo que darle ok, casi. Ok. Igual, teacher. Me sacó de, del grupo y tuve que regresar a la sesión. Va, entonces en este caso ni modo, los voy a tener que sacar manualmente y ni modo por, para los que están haciendo el examen y los metemos nuevamente a Diego, Karen y Miguel. Ok, teacher. Got it. Ok. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, ready with wish, right? Right. Okay. All right. Let me put for wish. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see.
Okay. I'm here again. Excellent, excellent. All right. So give me the example of I wish. What do you wish? I wish and uh, I wish finish my career in three years. Try one more time. Remember, you I wish always in the past tense. Okay. Mm. Me. Go ahead, try. I wish. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Can I? Yes. Okay, I wish. Uh, okay, I wish I have learned to speak English when I was young. Okay. Another, I wish my house, I wish my house had enough space. Okay, yes. Good, anybody else? Give me the examples, give me the examples. Um, I wish uh, I have a house in countryside. Okay, remember in past, in past, no, I have. I wish I had. I uh had. -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Good, Cesar. Good. All right. Before we continue, let's see. Um, uh, Diego, Karen, Miguel, it's okay. Did you finish the exam or not finish the exam? Thank you for the time, teacher. And uh, only. Only a part. part don't finish, but but is it is all the yes. Okay. So the okay. But the only last part, one. Only part. Okay. Last, part. The last one part. No problem. No problem. That's good. That's good. That's excellent. All right. So don't worry. The important is we advance little by little. Tomorrow, then we finish. It's okay. Okay. All right. So this is when we use I wish. Remember, I wish is you imagine. Ah, I wish I had, for example, me. I wish I had more time in the day. I feel that mm, not enough time in the day. Okay. Now, Jose Isaias, what about you? What do you wish? Uh, well, uh, I wish I had a, a Lamborghini. I don't know. <laughs> ah, I like it. I like it. Lam Lamborghini Diablo, huh? Yeah, no, Aventador. Aventador. Oh, okay. All right, Jose Isaias. Select the next person. Select the next one. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 Anna Lisette. Okay, Anna Lisette. Give us an example. Thank you, Isaias. Hi. <laughs> I wish I had more money. Ah, the two, right? The more yeah. money. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you buy the Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Annalise. Select the next person. Okay. Um, Miguel Antonio. Okay, Miguel. What do you wish? I wish have a million dollars. You wish you? Have one million dollars. One million dollars, good, good. Remember, it's always in the past. I wish okay. I had, I wish I had one million dollars. Okay. Good, Miguel, select the next person, Miguel. Uh, Cesar? Cesar. Okay, I, I wish uh, I bought a car. Okay, good, good. The verb in the past, excellent. Select the next person, Cesar. Medium. Medium, okay. Again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Bien. There you see, there you go, medium again. <laughs> Quiero ver. Let me a moment. I wish. 
Okay. I wish I have. Uh, I wish I had uh, a car. Uh, I wish I had to buy a car. No, I wish no. I could buy a car okay. in the past. I, Remember, it was in the past. I wish I could have a car. Okay. Buy a car. Buy yeah. a car. Or uh -huh. Exactly. Car. Exactly. Okay. All right, medium. Good. Good. Select the next person, medium. Okay. Give me a second, please. Uh, Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Go ahead. Hasta con apellido. Oh my God. All right. Jose <laughs> Carlos Rodriguez. <laughs> okay. Um, I wish I didn't have to work tomorrow. Ah, correct. In the negative. Nice. Nice. Ah, uh, nice example. All right, Jose. Select the next person. Okay. Um. Carol Flores. Okay. Thank you. I wish uh, be skinny. So so. Remember, verb in past, verb in past. I wish okay. I wish I was skinny. Good, very good. Normally, in normally with wish, no was is I wish I were. I wish I were skinny. This is the exception because with wish, no was. With wish, okay. only were. For, for all persons. Yes, for he, she, I, were. Okay. 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 All right, Karen. Select the next person, Karen. Uh, Diego Ferrer. Okay. Okay, I wish um, I have a talent to sing, maybe. No present, remember, verb in past. I wish I had that. Correct. Talent, talent for sing. Okay, to sing. Ah, uh, no. to sing, sorry. Diego, no possible for you to sing, no. Uh, I think, but in when I take a, take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Diego. Who is the next person, Diego? Uh, let me check. Um, Aida? I don't know. Say... Yes, Aida. Mm -hmm. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, Karen. Uh, what, uh, why don't you use in the past if wish is the future? Correct. That good question. You use in the past to indicate is not real. You use in the past to indicate is imagination. This okay. is why. When, when is it imagine, imagine, imagination? Is it the past? Correct. So you say, I wish I, and then you are imagining is not real. Ah, so always in past. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. I Hello. am Alma. Okay, Alma. I wish I had a new phone. I necessary a new phone. Okay. <laughs> All right. You wish you had a new phone. Good, Alma. Good. Aida, try again. We couldn't hear. Try Aida. No, 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 no. Don't worry, it's okay. We we see the mouth moving. We see the mouth moving. Okay. All right. Herson, go ahead, Herson. Pretty chair. Oh. I'm no idea. <laughs> um, I wish I had a new house. Okay. Good guys. So you see, all of those are with wish and the verb in past tense. Tomorrow we continue reviewing unit one, two, three, four. The idea of tomorrow we continue reviewing the units, okay?
All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, and I see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye, thank bye. you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.